Hi there, today we're going to practice multiplying by 3 and 9. Now, multiplying just means to repeat something. So, repeated addition. You're doing something over and over. So, if we're multiplying 2 times 3, and we're trying to find our product, our answer, we just need to make two groups of 3. So, here we have two groups of three here. One group here and another group right here. Three plus three. So another way to look at that is three plus three. And three plus three equals six. So our product or answer, when asking what two groups of three is, the answer is going to be six. 2 times 3 is 6. Now multiplying by 9 is the same as multiplying by 3 as far as we are repeating this amount here. We are repeating 9 4 times. So 4 times 9, we could draw out 9. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's one set of 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, two sets of 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We have three sets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then we can add these up. Now, 9 plus 9 is 18, plus another 9 is 27, plus another 9 is 36. So 4 times 9, if we added them all up, we get a product of 36. But that takes a lot of adding. So I'm going to show you a little trick that will help you with multiplying by 9. Let's go take a look at that now. So here we have the same fact of 4 times 9. Now I've drawn for you here a left hand and a right hand. And if you put your hands up and look in front of your screen, you have your four fingers and a thumb on your left hand, and then you have your thumb and four fingers on your right hand. And we're going to be using those fingers to help us multiply by nines. Now this is a trick just with nines. So on your left hand here, we're going to pretend the pinky is one, then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. That's how we're going to always count. Your left pinky is 1, your right pinky is 10. And that's going to help us with multiplying by 9's. So we have 4 times 9. We're going to find the fourth finger here. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4. Here is our fourth finger here. And we're going to hold that finger down. To hold it down, I'm going to actually erase my finger here, but you're just going to keep all the rest of your fingers up, and you're going to put that one finger down. So we're going to put the four down here. And there's our fingers gone down. Now, we're going to count our fingers here. Any fingers to the left of the finger we put down, we're going to count by tens. So these are going to be by tens. And then any fingers to the right, we're going to count by ones, okay? So these guys over here, those we're going to count by ones. So let's count. We're going to count by 10 starting. 10, 20, 30. So we have 30 on this side. Plus, we're going to count by ones now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. How many fingers do we have to the right? We had 6. And now we just have to add those together. 30 plus 6, we have a product of 36. Let's try another one. Okay, now we have a math fact of 7 times 9. So our first thing to do is find the seventh finger. Remember, we start with 1 on the left hand and we count up on, all the way to the right up to 10. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this is the seventh finger, your pointer finger on your right hand. So you're going to put that finger down. We're going to erase ours right here as if we were putting our finger down. Now, 
All you have to do at this point is count up by tens in the left hand, and then once you get past that finger you put down, you're gonna count up by ones. So let's count together. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So we have 60 on the left side of the finger we put down. Now let's count by ones. One, two, three. So we have 60 plus three. Slide those together and we have a product of 63. Very easy way for you guys to be able to easily multiply by nines. Use that trick. But remember, it is only with nines that you can do that. Okay, let's do some review. To review, we have a two-part word problem here. Let's read it together. Sally has three baseball cards. Jack has five times as many baseball cards as Sally. How many baseball cards does Jack have? Kelly has nine times as many baseball cards as Sally. How many baseball cards does she have? So the important information, Sally has three, Jack has five times as many, Kelly has nine times as many as Sally. So first part, let's solve for Jack. Jack has five times as many baseball cards as Sally. How many does Sally have? That's right, she has three baseball cards. And Jack has five times as many. So we're going to try and solve our multiplication fact of five times three. Now, let's practice our repeated addition way for this. Three plus three. 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. So let's count on. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. So the product or answer is 15. Jack has 15 baseball cards. Now, Kelly has 9 times as many baseball cards as Sally. So we know that Sally has 3 baseball cards. And Kelly has nine times as many, so three times nine. So we have to solve for that. Let's use our left hand and right hand to see if we can help figure that out. Okay, here we have our hands. Find our third finger, one, two, three. Put that finger down. Okay, now count down by tens in the left hand. 10, 20 plus our ones, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 20 plus seven, slide them together, you have a product of 27. So Kelly has 27 baseball cards. Today we've been practicing multiplying by three and nine. You can use your repeated addition method or use your trick when you're working with nines using left hand and right hand to help you to solve to find your product. Great job, and I can't wait to talk to you more about math soon.